Well, welcome to today's Verified Live. Apologies for uh, the problems there with the automation and the pictures. But let's start this hour with breaking news in Gaza with more details emerging an explosion at a UN relief agency warehouse in Rafa in southern Gaza. The Hamas-run health ministry says five people have been killed with more wounded. These pictures are verified by the BBC, filmed at a nearby hospital where casualties were taken. Israel has not commented so far on the incident. It comes as the US and others continue to urge Israel not to launch a full-scale assault on Rafa, where over a million Palestinians have taken shelter over recent weeks. Let me also show you the pictures of the warehouse itself that we're actually talking about. These taken in the immediate aftermath. Uh, those were the pictures uh, inside. And uh, let me tell you, a lot of the images that we've seen simply too graphic to actually broadcast. Well, let's speak now to UNRWA's Director of Communications, Juliet Tuma. Juliet, welcome here to the programme. Tell me what you know. Yes, sir. Thanks uh, for having me. It's uh, yet another very sad day for UNRWA. Uh, what we do know is that um, the Israeli forces have hit one of our largest warehouses in southern Gaza. And it's also used as a food distribution centers, uh, center. And at least uh, one colleague has been killed and 22 others were injured. Just tell me a little more about uh, the location of the warehouse, what it contained, what you uh, can say about what caused this, who is responsible? It's in the eastern side of Rafa, in the very south of the Gaza Strip. This is also the site where more than 1.5 million people are currently uh, living. Um, many of them have been displaced several times due to uh, the war. This is a distribution center for food and also a warehouse where we store uh, food supplies, but also other critical um, supplies. Um, we know that uh, it is uh, the Israeli forces who were responsible. It happened um, this morning. Our teams were on, on site and they reported back the, the casualties. It comes at a critical time uh, as hunger spreads across uh, the Gaza Strip and as famine looms in some part of Gaza, including in the north. Just in terms of a factual question, uh, uh, do you as an agency supply the coordinates to the Israelis exactly where each of these warehouses are in the Gaza Strip in Rafa? Yes, of course, Matthew. UNRWA shares the coordinates every day with all parties to the conflict, including with the Israeli army. I have just double-checked before coming to speak to you the coordinates of um, this very warehouse uh, were on the list and um, which was shared with the Israeli army last night. Just a final thought then, because uh, so many difficulties, we're seeing all sorts of different uh, methods being tried to be used to get aid into the Gaza Strip. We've got airdrops, we've got boats, uh, we've got piers being, being built. Just give me an idea of an incident like this, an added layer on top of all of that. Yes, I mean, it's also in addition to human losses, uh, which UNRWA has been enduring uh, since the beginning of the war, it's also losses of uh, very, very precious um, basic supplies uh, for people uh, that were meant to be distributed um, during the holy month of Ramadan for many, many uh, displaced uh, families who are absolutely desperate. And in any case, we are not being able to bring in the supplies we very much need and there should be more and there should be more by road also to UNRWA. Juliet Tumor, we have to leave it there, but uh, thanks for joining us here on BBC News. Well, let's uh, pick up where we ended that interview 